Good morning, American Red. How is everybody today? I have uh, picked up a new student named Daniel. He's had uh, six months previous experience driving for another company. Um, due to some paperwork issues, he is coming out training with me. So, from what I've seen so far from his uh, skills and performance, seems like he's he's pretty good at what he does uh, really the only thing that he needs to learn for our company is paperwork and he needs to learn how to use the ELD for us and routing and all that kind of stuff so just real minor driving things to work on um, you know again he's only had six months so a lot of this he's learned on his own. The load that we're picking up right now is in Union City, Georgia. And it is going to Midway, Tennessee. And uh, my pickup time for this load was actually one o'clock today, but we had left Florida yesterday. We had a load that went from the port in Palmetto, Florida, uh, just down the way here. And that was in Fairborn, Georgia. So I got done early with that live unload. So it was a live load, live unload. They worked me into this shipper. So now this is a live load and it's dropping off at a walmart so this one will be dropped today and then we'll head to nashville tennessee and i believe yeah that one's a live load too lots of live loads and lots of live unloads that's that's pretty crazy but that one in nashville actually goes all the way to ogden utah so I already have four loads that I've done up to right now. And that's from Tuesday to Friday. And our uh, work week ends on a Tuesday afternoon Phoenix time. So hopefully I'll be getting in just a ton of miles this week. So I'll have better way better paychecks uh, hopefully he's able to take away a lot of good stuff over the next two weeks we're able to teach him well and yeah we just keep moving on and making money and rolling and hopefully so my my truck is actually done I found out my truck is done they found they found the problem so yeah, we'll see about that when we actually go pick it up. So we're actually headed over to California to pick up my truck, switch all our stuff back in there. And uh, then we'll keep rolling after that. But what I did have to have done on this truck is I actually had to switch out all the drive tires because Basically, I was slipping and sliding on the road. The tread was way too low. It wasn't, it wasn't very pretty. <laughs> was not very pretty at all. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. But anyways, we are going to be rolling here pretty shortly and getting out of here. Guys, welcome back. We uh, got done being loaded. It took like seven and a, it was almost eight hours, right? Almost eight, almost eight hours. But I got to be fair because, like I said, you know, earlier today, our appointment wasn't till two o'clock. So we got out of there around four forty, somewhere around there. And uh, I mean, it still took a little while to get loaded. 
which sucked, but, you know, what's the big deal if you're hungry and need a shower and all that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> so guys, welcome aboard, Daniel. Daniel, nice to welcome you to YouTube. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to a Love's further out of Atlanta. It's about an hour away. About 45 minutes left to get there. We gotta weigh this thing, make sure our weights are correct. And then we're gonna take our showers, get something to eat, and drive. Probably shut down around 8, 30, 9 o'clock tonight. Maybe even earlier than that. Um, and then head to the consignee Walmart. So we have a window between 5 a.m. and 1500 tomorrow to get loaded. So whenever we're done there, we can go pick up our next load and then head to Utah. And then from Ogden, Utah, we go to Kareem, Utah, and we pick up another load. And then that one delivers up near Wyoming, or it delivers to a Walmart in uh, Cheyenne. So we're gonna head over to Cheyenne. But fingers crossed, what happened this last time where, you know, I was picking up that Coors load. Hopefully I'm not stuck there for three days again waiting for a load that just, I don't know, in my opinion, that was just uncalled for waiting around for three days for a load. So let's hope that doesn't happen this time. Let's hope that we get a load out of there right away. So all of these loads we're doing, uh, it'll end on Tuesday. So that's perfect. We'll get in probably around 40... 300 to 4,400 miles this week, something like that. It's not too bad. Um, and then hopefully, you know, it'll just get better from there. We'll be able to do more miles, less sitting around. So uh, Daniel is pretty independent as far as his driving goes, like I said this morning. So really it's just, you know, again, the paperwork and getting to know the ELD. And that, really, that's not gonna take a whole lot of time, so. It'll probably be a couple easy two weeks for him. Hopefully they get us a load from Cheyenne that goes right into Stockton, California. Or we can drop at our yard in Acampo, California, which is just right down the way uh, from where my Freightliner is. That would be great, because then we could just drop our trailer in the yard over there, our drop yard, and uh, go bobtail to the other tractor, get it switched out, and then be on our way. So yeah, that is what's going on for today. Today I only drove an hour and a half. That's it, hour and a half kind of sucks for drive time <laughs> so we only got like four really four and a half hours of drive time to get up there but yeah we're not gonna make it up there tonight it'll be too late if we go too late I'll be too tired you know plus we got to take our showers eat do all that kind of stuff so there it is for the day Truckers, when you come into traffic, don't be this moron over here, slowing all the traffic down behind you. That just creates more of a mess. It's just ridiculous. You know, I understand that it might help the people up in front a little bit, but it ain't gonna do no good. Everybody's gonna pass anyways. Everybody's gonna get ahead. Just don't be the dumb one. It's just retarded. He's just slowing everybody down. And he was blocking two lanes at the same time. He's not doing it now, but he was. Just hold this piece that he had. Yep. Stupidity. Thinks he's doing.
doing a favor for everybody ahead. All right, guys, here with Daniel. He's gonna park. So we'll see how he does. Get it in there nicely. Probably pull forward, readjust, maybe. I don't know if this needed to move it over to the left side a little bit. Which that looks like what it's going to do. So yeah, this six months of driving, it's really paid off quite a bit. Boom, just like that, he's got it. Good job, Daniel. Good morning, everybody. It's about 6 a.m. right now. Uh, woke up around 3.30, started driving. We have about an hour and nine minutes left. So we reach the uh, consignee. Been a pretty easy morning. Now there was only one spot where it was just kind of, uh, I sat there for probably 11 minutes or whatever. I don't know what was going on, but it didn't look like anything happened. Maybe uh, an accident was pretty far ahead, I guess, because it had set a 28 minute wait, but there was really nothing there. But yeah, it's been a cool, pr pretty cool morning. Pretty beautiful sunrise. We are right now headed through Knoxville, about an hour away from the consignee. So after we're done with uh, this consignee, then we'll go ahead and head towards Nashville, pick up our next load start heading towards Utah. Go to the Ute. Well, it's pretty much downtown Knoxville. Not very big. Said we're gonna park in the in row. In row. Let's see if there's actually somewhere to park this thing. Doesn't look like there is. Oh, well, maybe there's an open spot right there. Yeah, it's an open spot. Right there. 
piece of empty. That ain't here. Got this rope. Not in that room. Things aren't looking good for an empty, that's for sure. arrived at the shipper got loaded didn't really take that long that was like what 45 minutes something like that yeah. so Daniel's filling out the paperwork right now for that and uh, yeah we're gonna start driving he's still got quite a bit of time left pretty much just switched over not too long ago so yeah, we're gonna get in a bunch of miles. Today's Saturday, so we'll be there Monday. Monday mid-morning is when we will be at the consignee. At <clears throat> the rest of our two weeks, we're gonna kind of ride out uh, in the central part of the state and the western part of the state. So probably Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, California, Washington, Oregon, maybe Idaho, uh, Nevada, Phoenix, you know, those areas, uh, Arizona. So things are going well so far as far as mileage by the end of the week, which is Tuesday afternoon, we'll probably be around uh, 4,400 miles, or 4,450, I believe. But uh, that TA is not even there anymore. No? Nope, they destroyed that TA. This one then? Yep. Turn at the first there you go. Learning industrial drive. Nice, 2.30, we still got plenty of time to drive. Glad I got up early this morning. Yeah, that's a pretty big bump. Yeah, Kind of makes you wonder what the heck that stuff is back there, huh? Like. It's got the Spider-Man pictures, but what do they use it on? Because I mean, each roll's like, was that thick? Yeah. I wonder. I wonder if it really is plastic and they like melt it onto something or on the side of something. Because that's that's a lot of Spider-Man. <laughs> Those 
kind of funny. We just went to a Love's and um, <laughs> we we were going there to get scaled out. And this is this is right in Nashville, heading down 65. And we pull in there, and you know usually the scales like on the right hand side of where the pumps are or whatever or the left hand side of where the pumps are but usually it's right where the pumps are well we we go in there and first of all you come in in a very weird way uh but then we went over to where the pumps were and we were like what the heck where's the where's the scale at like it's not even there so we were like why would the gps say that there's a scale there and there's not even a scale so we pulled out and around. I was like, you know, I'm a. I need to check the map. I look on there and I'm like, Psh, I can't even find the freaking scale on the map. But then I zoom in, and it's actually right next to the building where you pull in. But it's missing the cat scale sign. Like somebody busted it off or something like that. So I was like, oh man, we just totally. Let's pull back in there. At least we can scale right here. <laughs> but it was totally missing. It was a weird entrance. Huh? It was a weird entrance. It, yeah, it was definitely a weird entrance for sure. I bet at least we could get way there and we didn't have to go somewhere else. Yeah. You know, way far down the road. I mean, we we moved we moved those axles up back pretty good. We were like pretty much even uh, between our drives and our tandems on the trailer and uh, you know on our steering we were 12-1 so not bad at all pretty good for a rookie <laughs> I agree good morning everybody how are we all doing Kansas City, Missouri. Just about to go past the stadiums out here. The Chiefs Stadium. Actually, a while ago, uh, I used to be a part of the, or I was a part of the Garth Brooks Stadium tour. And um, we actually went in we had to drive underneath the stadium and into the stadium and then set up his uh, stage that was crazy I mean underneath the stadium is like are these pipes up above and you got to be just perfect going in there with your tractor and trailer or else your trailer and your tractor is going to hit the very top of the pipes and ruin the pipes and somebody has to guide you in there Man, it just takes, it takes a little while to be able to get inside and be guided in. Yeah, that tour, that tour was pretty fun though. Traveled all over the U.S. during the tour. Until, you know, there's the stadiums. Until, um, you know, Garth decided to uh, stop the tour due to the COVID stuff. But yeah, I mean, I made really great money on that tour. But the, the only thing, on right you know, with that tour is I was stuck. So, you know, I couldn't go home couldn't do nothing besides just the tour itself and I hadn't been home for three months or so by the time he had shut down the tour all that kind of stuff so yeah it kind of sucks being out there it almost seems like you're in jail <laughs> I mean without the, without the bars and you know you can go to the grocery store or do all that kind of stuff but you know it, it's just 
that you, you're not able to have home time. So, but that is the world of touring. I do a lot of barbecues, a lot of cookouts. Try to find stuff to do. Watch a lot of TV, watch a lot of series. something to keep yourself busy because pretty much what you're doing is you're sitting there for six days until you load out of the stadium and then drive to your next location or other stadium that you're going to go to. But I mean, usually it would only take us, you know, it'd be like, uh, 530 miles to the next stadium or whatever and we just kind of go along this route and it, just, it wasn't very many miles of driving and then once we got there we had our certain days of loading in and then we'd just go back and we'd sit and wait for the concert to be done and then go back in there load out and then head to our next destination I definitely learned uh, quite a bit on that tour because I had never been on tour with huge celebrity or on any tour at all period you know, so I didn't know what to expect or uh, how they put stuff up so I, I learned you know what different trucks names are what the different names to, you know when they go in when they load out I will say though you know it, it was definitely all night driving definitely not during the day Ah, we just got down at the Loves, taking our showers, getting our break, get something to eat. Now we are back on the road again. We switched out. We are in Aurora, Nebraska right now. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. So we're going to try to make it kind of towards the edge of uh, Wyoming, probably to like Little America, but with the speed limit, you know, we can only go 65 between here and where we're going to stop. It's about 521 miles and you got 70 and 80 mile speed limits. So I don't think we're going to make it there. I think we're going to have to go a little bit further back, but we'll see. We'll see. We're going to try. See how far we get. But so far, as far as over here, I mean, it's a nice day. But where we came from, it was pouring down rain. It sucked. Hopefully it doesn't do that further ahead.
5.30 a.m. in the morning right now. We are in Rock River, Wyoming. About five hours away from our drop at the consignee. Don't have a pre-plan yet, but I'm hoping that what's gonna happen is uh, in about a couple hours, my driver manager will have a pre-plan to me. You know, all this road work that they're doing, it, it just seems like there's more road work being done this year than there was last year. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I know, I mean, I know there's road work every single year. Guys, we're at the end of the video if you guys want to support our channel please like subscribe share that's gonna help our channel out big time it's like we got another night in the background right there we're gonna move on to the next loads we'll see how much video we can get on there peace out see you on the other side the ending of the day the sunset goes all the way back to there there's like a huge huge storm back there right now and things are catching on fire and it's I mean it is insane but look at that that is killer <laughs>